All right, gentlemen. Today, we are brought together once more for a Horde Trans Mount competition. Today is the last time for NA to reclaim its glory of being the transmog capital of the world. Next week, we go back to EU. This is your last chance to be noticed, to be seen, to be recognized, to rise above all others. Let us begin. Bathtub the Tranquil Master. With the Shadow Pan helmet right there, the shoulders from leveling in uh, Mist of Pandaria, and a bunch of other leveling gear from Mist of Pandaria, with on his back a stick. This is one of the most basic and boring transmog sets that I've ever seen, and it's probably going to be the worst set. Oh. And the Fell Steel Longblade from Crafting in, Black, uh, in Burning Crusade. Okay. I don't know how I feel about this, guys. I like the two weapons, that's really cool, but everything besides that I'm not really a big fan of. Let's see the mount. I feel like this is really basic. Yeah, I, I feel like it's really, really, really basic. It's predictable, it's boring, it's generic. It's the same Mog that we've seen a million other times before. I, I don't know, man. It it's too much for me. Yeah, I, I don't like it at all. I think this has got to be much better. Bonus Legacy Mount for fun? Wait, what? The Ivory... Wait, this is the Ivory Raptor. Wait. This is the original Ivory Raptor, man. Yo, what? Oh my god. What the fuck, dude? Look at this. Never see old school rides anymore. This shit old school ride. Wow. I got two more? No fucking way. Hit it. Teal Kodo. God damn. How do you have three of them. Wait, this means that this man. Oh my got, god. He got 3,000 gold in, in vanilla yeah. before they changed the mount. What the fuck is wrong with you? How the hell did you even do that? You're a god. Who cares about your transmog? Yeah, that sucks, but your mounts. Oh my fucking god, dude. That is incredible. Congratulations on that. Good. Okay. All right. This is... It's too much for me, man. It's too fucking Ooh. much. Who is okay, this man? Yeah, who is this guy? No, man. This no, flexing. don't hit him with it. Oh, my God. This dude is fucking flexing hard. Oh, my God, dude. This guy's out of control. And he's... Bro, what? Is this a developer? Bro, what, dude? Vanilla Andy? I know. This is insane. Bathtub. Who even cares about the trans man? Apparently, you don't. Fucking, like, this guy's a legend, even regardless, okay? Nice job. Howdy. Grandmaster Lola Doshi. A Nightfallen Rogue. I like the chest piece there with the Nightfallen to Bard. These, uh, these, uh, fist weapons that come from Hellfire Citadel from Fell Lord Zakun. I like the enchants on them as well. I think what I like about this the most that it's, it's the same... It's the difference between, like, it's bulky and it's also elegant at the same time. I, I really like the two of those that are coming together. I think that it's really, really good. Uh, yeah, good fucking job. I like this a lot. Now, we'll see what's going to happen with this mount. Uh, I've got pretty high expectations for this, but I could still be disappointed. So let's see what's going to happen. Here we go. Loa Doshi, hit it. I'm just, I'm, I'm not, I'm not having it, man. I just, I don't think that it matches. It's purple? Yeah, well, purple doesn't equal win, contrary to what chat thinks. Um, this is not that good. The reason why I don't like it, I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys like it. Um, it's not bad. You're right that it's not bad, but I feel like the theme is just so much different than what you have that the mount just really catches me by surprise. And I think also, I guess like the blue matches like her skin. That is actually pretty good. 
I might have to come back to this one and make a decision again. But, uh, I, I think, like, the color theme on this is extremely clean and well done. So it's important to keep that in mind, too. Uh, purple bias? What the fuck, dude? Jesus Christ. Okay, alright, let's go to the next one. Skiggy Con. Skiggy has been in a number of my transmog competitions before. And he's back at it again. With the white vans. With the what? With, with the white... With the white vans? Back at it again. Hard to get in these days, it sure is, but you manage. The gloves right there from Old Deer, the helmet there, I don't even know what the fuck that helmet is from. I think it's from a dark, uh, the Dark Shore Warfront for, uh, for Warlocks and cloth wearers. Those shoulders there from uh, Antorus for Warlocks. The belt there also, Elite PvP helmet, even more the case. Big dick. And then obviously the sword right there for Fire Mages, that's Fellow Malorn. This is an amazing set. I like it a lot. This is a plague bringer. This guy has coronavirus. This guy already has COVID-20. Okay? Skiggy. You have to hit us with the best mount possible. That, that, is, that is pretty good, dude. That is really good. I would say that works. I would say that fucking works, dude. It looks fucking amazing. Honestly, I think half the reason why people like it is because of the sun in the background. But regardless, I think that it looks really fucking good. Skiggy, this is an amazing mount. This is the Undercity Plague Bat for the uh, Battle of... Uh, uh, Battle of whatever the fuck. Uh, battle of the, the expansion or battle for, um, uh, like, a, 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 a player agency or something like that, you know? Um, regardless, Skiggy, great set, amazing, well put together mount. I like it a lot. Will he be a placing? I don't know yet, but we'll have to find out. But there's no purple. So. Onion beam. So the chest piece is obviously the best part of this set. The shoulders are okay as well. I think the shoulders are kind of, uh, you know, they're an average, I would say. And then also the uh, the leggings and boots are kind of good. I think this transmog set is about average. I'm not a big fan of monk sets, okay? I'll be real, I'm just not. And I am I am going into this with a massive bias. So if this guy can come in here, I really like those maces too. Those maces are fucking awesome. The maces make this set really good. If this guy can come in a Demon Hunter set, yeah, whatever. It looks like a monk set because of the shoulders. Onion. Let's see the mount. Hit us with the mount, Onion. What's this weird? What's this weird shit? Attention next song is weird. The Awakened Mind Borer. I don't really think this matches. Nope. I mean, it's okay. I don't think that it's bad. I'm not saying that it's awful in any regard, but overall, I, I don't think that it's really that good, guys. Like, I'm sorry to say, but I just think that it's average at best and mediocre at worst. Um, this is just, it, it, it kind of matches, and that's basically it. Uh, no theme? Yeah, I guess so. Fake muncher? Listen, I don't, I don't need to see any more fucking muncher memes, all right, guys? This is an average set. It's not amazing, but it's decent, and I think that it looks pretty good. Mount doesn't really work that well, though. Punch your <laughs> Fiction's the insane. You know what this tells me? This is somebody who has a lot of WoW tokens. He goes to different servers, and he buys out Tier 3 gear. He can't even match it, though. He's got full Tier 3 Warlock besides the shoulders, and for some reason he decided to put on the Frostfire shoulders Tier 3 for that instead. Also, that staff right there is the uh, Legendary Staff. 
with the tabard there of the um, uh, the fucking Olympics thing that came out in 2008. Fictions, this set is fucking garbage. It's almost a full set, and it's embarrassing. No amount of money is going to save you from this type of failure. But let's see your mount. Jesus. It's terrible. Everybody knows that it's terrible. It's going to be boring. I knew it. I fucking knew it. This guy right here, listen. All right, listen. You don't need to show off. Everybody sees, all right, good job, buddy. This is, you know what this guy is? We've got ourselves a pension Andy here. This guy's got a real job and he's trying to fucking flex it in our faces and tell us how fucking special he is because he has a real job. Well, you know what? Other people have real transmogs and real mount combinations. It's very nice that you have this. It's just a swift, spe it's a swift spectral too. Wait, you have eight. Wait, what? Wait, you have 800 achievement points? What the f How the fuck do you. Wait, what? I, I don't even know. Is this an EU spy? Did he yes. buy the account? Like, maybe he bought yes. the account? I don't even know. All right, fictions. Well, next time, whenever you buy it, you have to add. Um, you have to pay a little bit extra for them to give you a good transmog, all right? Better luck next time. Bash Cutter, the Camel Hoarder from the Guild Knee. This guy looks like he's going to give me a quest to kill 10 boars in Duratar. And then whenever I finally complete the quest, I'm going to get a pair of bracers that are white quality that have no stats. And they're actually somehow a downgrade from the current bracers that I have that are gray. Bash Cutter. This set right here reminds me a lot of Classic WoW. It's unique. It's cool. It's low res. And it's interesting. But the problem is that all of these pieces are pretty much designed to go together. This is effectively a full set without it being a full set. And don't think that you see that belt right there. What belt is that, boys? It's a meme set. I understand that that belt's a tier two belt. That's the Wrath belt. It comes from, uh, what boss is that from? Uh, Veil Stress. In BWL. He thinks he's going to be cute and clever. Coming in here with one different item. Bash Cutter. It's okay. Let's, you know what? Since we're here, let's see your mount. Wolf. What the fuck? What the fuck's wrong with you? Oh, God. What the fuck is this supposed to be? Only one hump? You don't even have the gray one. Oh, my. Oh, no. this is embarrassing. This is like a 300 gold mount. Jeez. Oh my God, dude. What is this one here? Oh, oh, now he does have the gray one. Okay, all right, Bash Cutter, we get it. You've got the gray mount, okay? You don't need to flex on us, dude. Like, at least pick a better mount that matches your color, okay, dude? Like, that's just terrible. All right, let's go to the next one. High Priest... High Priest, kill and eat them. From the guild, Spectacular Demise. I'll be honest. I like this a lot. Uh, kill, eat them. Kill and eat them. True. So that belt, that chest piece right there, or leggings, I believe, actually are from the uh, Antorus preset. Those shoulders are from the uh, the uh, the Olduar preset. The helmet here, I think, is one of the PvP helmets that comes from Wrath of the Lich King. And that staff right there comes from, I believe, Sunwell? Am I wrong about that? I think that I am, actually. Uh, what priest set is this? What, what priest staff is this? Grand Magister Staff of Torrents. Oh, shit. I don't fucking remember where that's from. I think this is actually a really well-put-together set. I think the belt works really, really well. Uh, is it Sunwell? I, I think that it's something like that. Oh, it's Sunwell. Yes. Uh, I thought that it was. Um, regardless, I think this looks very, very good. Everything about this set matches in terms of colors, and I think that it actually looks like a full set without it being a full set. That's one of my highest praises, and I'm giving it to you, Kill and Eat Them. So, we got to see a really, really, really good mount here. A really good mount. The Priest Class Order Hall mount. You know what? Yes, this works. I actually think that it does, too. 
how she's like kind of leaned back on it a little bit and like you've got the wolf right there the fucking headwig is a mouth like this is badass dude like I, I actually think this works really really well what do you guys think about it yeah it's unique I, I think that it's fucking great man like what do you guys think yeah I, I think that it looks really really good and uh like combines lean back lean back yeah I think it's fucking awesome uh good job it's fucking kick ass yeah I think so uh, I like it a lot uh this is pretty good I think the mount actually did improve this set and it's a really good combination. Good job, Killing Ethan. I'm proud of you. Next. Elbin, the faceless one from Forest River. Vanilla fanboys? And it's the frag- Oh no! Vanilla fanboys and it's the fragment of suffering. Oh, I'm sorry. Without corruption? Uh, what does it say? Without corruption, too high now. Oh, uh, I kind of like this. What do you guys think? Uh, I mean, the shoulders and the legs right there come from Battle of Desire War, and I think the helmet comes from uh, the new raid, and the swords there are the swords from Rathion with the Void Edge enchant on it from the, uh, uh, what is it? The fucking, the, the, the thing. And um, I, I like this. I think that it works really well together. The colors are very clean, and everything about it I think is good. It is a bit boring, okay? I, I will agree with you guys. It is a bit boring. But overall, uh, I, I do think the set looks good. There's a reason why you think it's boring, and that's because a lot of people use it. And a lot of people use it because they think it looks good. Uh, I, I like this a lot. So, I'm not saying it's going to win, by the way. I'm just saying that I like it. I also like how you, you incorporated corruption into your set by having the swords match with corruption. Now, let's see the mail. I've embraced the void. He's embraced the void. Oh, I... Okay. I, I would have never expected somebody to go and pick this one. That's actually... Okay, so I've got to say right now, this is the first time that anybody has ever actually done this before. And yep. because it's so unique and so different, I'm going to have to give this guy some credit, okay? It's ballsy. It certainly is ballsy. Yeah, that's really, really good, man. Uh, I like it a lot, just for the reason that it's something unique and different. Good job, Elvin. Great job. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Expedition Master Talandrius from the Guild Masquerade. This reminds me, you know what this is like? This is like the Torghast male armor, but not as good. I actually, what? Yeah, it's like the Torghast male armor. It's like the exact same oh, helmet. This is a good transmog. I know, I know that, but I think that it's really cool. It just reminds me of that. That doesn't mean that okay. it's not good. Yeah, the okay. axes right there come from the movie event, right? Whenever you logged on and the movie came out. The shoulders are from Antorus. The belt, the gloves there are from, I believe, Pat 8.2. The helmet here, I don't even know what fucking helmet this is. I, like, what even is this helmet? This helmet's awesome. Primal Gladiator's head cover. This is fucking insane. So, the helmet right here, and the fact that he's a demon hunter, and he has the horns coming out of the helmet, that's what makes this work. That's what pulls this set together. That's what makes it clean as a motherfucker. Everything else besides it is just like, whatever. But that helmet and the shoulders is what really pulls it together and makes it look dangerous and foreboding. This guy is going to the Vinthyr Covenant in Shadowlands. Garen fucking teed. Talandrius. Hit us with the mount. Oh, wow. What do you guys think? Yeah, what do you guys think about this? Let me get on this mount so I can just look down on you a bit. I kind of like this. It works pretty well. I think the armor on it looks good, especially with him having like kind of that armored feel. The eyes on the mount matches the eyes on his character. 
the color theme is exactly the same. This is extremely well done. Like, even if you're not a fan of transmogs like this, I think you have to admit that this is a very well done set. Uh, bugging chest, I feel like it's not bugged. No, it's not bugged at all. It just looks cool. Uh, yeah, this is really, really nice. It's a, yeah, an elite blood elf. This is fucking awesome. This is a blood knight right here. This is really, really cool, and I like it a lot. Very well done, Talandrius. I'm proud of you. You're a good boy and a great person. Let's go to the next person. Hands X the move. Let's look at your arena rating. All right. Shoulders right there from, uh, I think those shoulders are actually the PvP shoulders from uh, just resubbed. Well, welcome back, buddy. A uh, hel helmet there is one of the monk sets, and uh, shoulders are from Warlords of Draenor. What weapons is he using? He's using fist weapons, obviously. The cloak is very mediocre. I don't like the cloak at all. Wait, oh my god. What the fuck is this? Okay, so the fact that he's using blood draining on the fist weapons, it just looks really, really fucking cool, alright? So, like, let's be real. That does look fucking badass. Like, this guy... I mean, his name's Hands X, and he's using the big fucking fist weapons? Dude, this is pretty badass. Like, this is a... It's a dangerous, ferocious set. McConnell, what do you think, dude? I agree with you. 100%, dude. 100 fucking percent, dude. I like this a lot. This is a really, really nice looking set, man. Hands, you know what time it is. Hell yeah. You don't like it? People don't like it in chat. I think that's cool. Okay? So the best part of this set is the fist weapons, okay? Like, that's obviously the best part of the set. And every other mount would make it to where you can't see the fist weapons. This is the only mount that would make it to where you're able to see the fist weapons. And because of that, I actually think this is really cool. I'm gonna have to diverge from chat's opinion on this because I think chat's wrong and dumb. But I think this is a great, great fucking set. Hands, that is a really cool looking mount. And the fact that the mount isn't in itself really cool, but it reinforces the coolness of your set. This guy looks like on a starting screen for Street Fighter. I normally don't have a cloak, but the colors match as well. Yeah, this is like the starting screen for like Street Fighter or some other fighting game. It's like, choose your fighter. This guy would be on the fucking menu right here. I like it a lot. Good fucking job, man. Yeah, chat equates rarity with looks. Listen, a lot of people have different, uh, different values, but I, I think that like, even if you have any mount in there, it only matters to me if somebody has a mount that matches with their set. Having a rare mount that matches with their set is really cool. But if you just have that, I think that's just enough. And you also have to keep in mind that yeah. Poor Loco used to have caffeine in it, and it doesn't anymore. That's true. Foco Hunter XD. Conqueror of Azeroth from the guild Savage Shark. I love this. I think this is a fucking awesome set. The gloves and the shoulders there, or sorry, the gloves and the boots there, the belt right there from Blackrock Foundry Mythic, the helmet from the same place. I think that chest piece comes also from Warlords of Draenor. I don't even know where these shoulders are from. Like, I, I have no idea. What even are these? Like, I almost know every piece in the game, but I don't know what this is at all. And it's not even telling me. It doesn't even let me inspect them. Okay, well, whatever. Um, let me see here. Belt is weird? Yeah, I, I like this a lot. Oh, there we go. Mantle of the Soulbinder's Caress. What the fuck is that? It's from BOD. I had no idea. This is really, really good. What weapon are you using? BOD normal? Oh, dude, that weapon? The feathers on the weapon that match the feathers on the shoulders? Oh my god, dude. This guy... I'm into this one. This is a nice looking set, man. And the fucking belt in the middle. This is some clean ass shit. Foco. This is yours to lose. Hit us with the mount. Perfect. 
That's exactly what I would have hoped for. This is a basic smoky direwolf. That's a very good choice. Fiery eyes in the helm match the mount. Oh, dude. Okay, that that actually is really impressive. Uh, that is really fucking impressive, man. What do you guys think about this? Yeah, do you guys like this or what? Uh, I, I think it's fucking awesome, actually. Like, I, I really like the way this set looks, and I think that it's very well put together. Uh, yeah, I really like his armor. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. I think this is really, really well done. And it looks really cool. I, I like it a lot. Yeah, is it Magdar? Uh, whoops. Wait, what's whoops? Okay. Um, regardless. Uh, came up with a mount in like two minutes. Whoops. Well, hey, dude. Uh, the transmog looks fucking amazing. The colors match with the mount. The eyes match with the mount. Everything about this matches with the mount. It's very well done. Foco, nice fucking job. This is what we want to see coming out of a transmount composition. We don't want to see some other bullshit like what we've seen before. This is very well done. I like it a lot. Love your streams, man. Well, I love you too. Thank you very much. It's an EU spy. Yeah, right, dude. It means so much to hear you, Judge. You did a great job, man. You did a great job. Let's go to the next one. Demoniac, the Alliance Slayer. From the Guild Elite Horde. Love you, chat. Wish me luck. So we have ourselves a corrupted rogue here. The shoulders right there from the uh, Cruel Gladiator Elite set, I believe. And uh, actually, is it the Cruel Gladiator? No, that's the uh, that's the Tomb of Sargeras Mythic set. Excuse me. And those daggers right there come from Mythic Manoroth and Hellfire Citadel. The helmet also comes from Mythic Hellfire Citadel. The shoulders, the legs, and the boots right there all come from Legion Leveling. And the chest piece also comes from Mythic Tomb of Sargeras uh, Rogue set as well. This is a very interesting set. I like it a lot. It's very clean. This is a rogue, I'm pretty sure, right? It's a rogue. Yeah, it's a rogue. This looks really good. I don't want to do that again. Demoniac. I like this a lot. Very well put together. The colors are very clean. I like how vibrant it is. Like, I like seeing bright, vibrant colors. It looks fucking awesome. This is what it would look like if a rogue was actually infested with, like, fell energy. This is really, really good. Now, let's go ahead and let's see the mount. I do think that it's a bit top-heavy, though, and not in a good way. Like, that the under... That is really good, dude. That is really, really fucking good. Uh, I like this a lot, man. Evened it out? Yes, it certainly is evened out. This is very well demoniac. Very well done, demoniac. Sorry, I, I accidentally a word. Um, look at that, dude. That is actually very, very clean. Now, obviously, some of the pieces could be a little bit better. Uh, the perp, the blue on the mount doesn't really match with anything, but overall, I think this is really well done. What do you guys think? Opinions? Infernal Direwolf fits better, in my opinion. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. I, I always have really liked this mount, uh, this mount model anyway. So I think that it looks really good. Yeah, this is a nice looking set, guys. 8 out of 10. Good. And the mount name? That's the Vicious uh, Skeletal Warhorse, I believe. I was going to use the other mount. Go ahead and get on it. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, are you going to get on the uh, the Corhound? Yeah. Yeah, the other one, that's definitely a better idea. Corhounds don't really look very good to ride on. Uh, I think that you made the right decision by going on the first one. It's much better. Did you see the Mad Season video? Yes, I did. Yeah, this is much better. It's much smaller and more, uh, more realistic. Yeah, this is a much more realistic skeletal horse. It's able to ride around with Bellfire on it. Demoniac, good job. Twilight Vanquisher vibe check. Shoulders and belt from the Mythic set from uh, Nighthold for Warlocks to Tabard from the TCG set. The goggles from like Engineering and Vanilla WoW, positive vibes. The dagger right here from uh, Blackrock Foundry uh, Heroic, I believe. And then this offhand here comes from uh, Dragon Soul. 
This guy reminds me, like, anybody who ever wears, like, a really cool-looking set with those stupid goggles on always makes me assume that they're a PvPer. I, I don't know what it is about PvPers, but they just always do this. Ooh, 3v3. Not your strong suit. All right, vibe check. Let's see the mount. This does look pretty good. There you go. Disappointing mount incoming. Yeah. If you knew it was disappointing, why did you do it? Yeah, why do you get on the mount if you know it's bad? Why'd you like do if, it? If you know it's a bad mount, man. You know it's a bad mount. Like, you're you're getting on it. It's like, I only have 50 mounts. Can I can we... almost guarantee oh, you that one of the 50 that you would have had instead of that is better than this. This is the Twilight Drake from Sartharion on 25 man with three drakes. It's not that big of a deal. It doesn't match at all. And honestly, this mount hasn't looked cool uh, ever since... That does look better. Like, that alone looks better. It doesn't look good, but it's definitely better. Yeah, like, you should have just gotten on this one to begin with. This is just, like, basically... This is the Twilight Dragon that your girlfriend tells you not to worry about. Okay? This is just better in every fucking way. This is a way, way better fucking mount. The Corrupted Void Wing is way better. Nice fucking job, vibe check. This is way fucking better. Bought the boost? Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. This is really good. Love you all. I love you too. I'll get boosted in one way or another. Yeah, we sure do. Mask Chuckler Rip Shure. Yo. Oh. Yo, dude. This is he's got a theme going on here, right? So he's obviously a Maghar orc with the uh the chest piece there. He's got the belt and the boots right there. Isn't that the Maghar set? And, and then yes. the lapping skull helmet? Holy shit, Blackrock, this is the Blackrock clan set. Holy shit, God, this looks great. And the bracers too, dude. Imagine using bracers in a transmog set and having it work. This is really good. This is a big dick set. What do you guys think about this? It's a wolf. It's going to be wolf. The main reason why I like this set a lot is because of the chest piece. Like the chest piece with like all the scars all over him and everything, where all of the rest of his gear is fully armored. I think that works really, really well. All right, let's see your mount. It's time. It's a wolf. There it is, dude. That's really good. Like this is, so basically there are a number of sets that people use that you can kind of predict what they're going to be, but even whenever you predict what they are, it's still impressive to see. I yep. think Rib Chewer is doing this right now. I like this set a lot. It's very well put together, it's extremely clean, and it's really, really good. Top five, no doubt. I agree. This is really, really good. All right. Yeah, this is amazing. I like it a lot. Good job, Rib Chewer. Great job. Top five? I don't know if it's top five. It could be. It depends on what else we see. But this is very well put together. I also really like, like, the dark, like, fucking, uh, like, iron look of this character. Especially with, like, the boots, too, at the same time. It feels like he's made to ride this mount. This is really, really good. I like it a lot. Wuhan Batman. The Alliance Slayer. I don't know how this motherfucker got that name, dude. Who the fuck? I've, I've only been playing WoW Asmon for three months. Be gentle. Okay, all right. We'll do that. So, Wuhan Batman, the, the Alliance Seraph from the Guild Party Clash. Go ahead. Nothing. That's just that name. Okay, so the, the weapons right there are obviously from the 8.2 Benthic armor that you're able to get over in Nashatar. The shoulders are from the Rogue Set and Dragon Soul. The helmet there is from uh, Hellfire Citadel, uh, the, uh, the Druid Set. And then the belt there is just like a random uh, blue belt. I think it's a dungeon belt for monks or some stupid ass shit. And then all the rest of the stuff, who cares about it? It's all just like green and blue gear. It doesn't matter. This set? Listen. 
The guy's been playing WoW for three months. This guy is already... His transmog, let's be real, he's not going to win. doesn't matter what now he's going to get on. He's not going to win. But the fact that he matched those shoulders with these weapons, with those gloves and that helmet there, I think that's impressive. This is really good for being three months since the game. This is a future transmog top five placer. Let's see what his mount is. Check his achievements. Yeah, do that. 6k. Yeah, you can get that in three months. Yeah. Everything's two, everything's 2020. Yeah. He's already got 6k achievements in three three months. And he's got his Demon Hunter starting mount right there. What do you guys think? I think this works pretty well. Uh, Yeah, Fell Saber. Yeah, I, I like it a lot, man. Better than most Demon Hunters. Not bad. I, I think it's pretty fucking good, man. Uh, I like it a lot. Yeah, this is decent. Okay, good transmog for a new person. Yeah, it's kind of the way that I look at it too. Wuhan, this is very good start. I look forward to seeing your transmog game improve. Let's go to the next one. Ufara from the guild Savage Factory. Okay, that's the uh, the challenge mode Mage Tower uh, artifact appearance for the Frost Mage weapon. And the shoulders there come from Blackrock Foundry. The belt there is from the mythic set for uh, mages and the Nighthold. And uh, the chest piece, I have no idea where the fuck the chest piece is. But uh, the helmet there comes from Legion Leveling. Uh, this is a really, really nice looking set. It's very clean. It's like, if there was like a Nightfallen city besides Sturmar, and there's just like a random Nightfallen walking around, I think that it would look like this. This is a Nightfallen, like, it's just a basic set. And I think that it's very clean. It's very well done. It's basic, but it's elegant at the same time. Ufara, this is very good. Let's see if we can find a mount to match this. Go ahead. We're ready. Rest in peace. Ufara. You are very good at transmog. You are great at transmog. Mount collecting and picking mounts out, that's a different story. Oh. That's a different story. Too far. You fought well. You fought hard. But unfortunately, you need to do something different than just Mythic Jaina. Better luck next time. That was okay, but it could have been a lot better. Free Pete the Insane from the Guild Bloodline. Uh, I don't know about this. What do you guys think about this one, boys? It's like the daggers are pretty low res. Those daggers right there are Malkazine that drops on the last boss prince, Malkazar, and Karazhan. The shoulders there, I think, are Furious or Relentless or Wrathful. One of the Gladiator shoulders and Wrathful Witch wrathful, King. Dude. Yeah, I think they're Wrathful because they're really spiky, right? The helmet there, obviously, is from Boralus Questing or uh, the Dungeons. Daggers are the dust blade. Yeah, and it's the exact same model. And uh, the tabard there is the TCG tabard. This is one of the rogue sets that we see very often, okay? Like, we've seen a lot of these with, like, that helmet and, like, the leggings. And I don't know if this is really too often, okay? Maybe I'm just kind of tired of seeing it. But for the most part, I I'd like to see something beyond this, okay? Now, let's go ahead and let's see what this guy's going to be able to do with the mount. Here we go. Repeat. Let's go. Oh, shark bait. Different. Okay. All right. He's actually got a rare mount. Yeah, he's actually got a rare mount. I like it a lot. Okay, that's good. Yeah, he's a fucking pirate. Well, no, I mean, a lot of people don't have this mount. And so, like, having a cool new mount like this, I think is fucking awesome. I like it a lot. Pirate item is lame. I don't think it's lame. It's just that we haven't seen it a whole lot. And so I think people expect to see something a little bit more unique. But Free Pete, here's my take on it. I think this actually does look pretty damn good. Uh, I like it a lot. And uh, there it is. He's been throwing three months. Yeah, exactly. Poor bird can barely hold him. Oh, he's not that Sorry. fat. Come on, dude. I mean, orc models are pretty big. Yeah, dude. they're a little beefy. I'd say so. Okay. Um, Free Pete. I think this is okay. Maybe it's just like my own biases by seeing so many pirate transmogs, but I'm not really sure this one's going to find a placing or not, okay? 
But it does look really fucking good. Metal Druid the Bloodthirsty. Whoa! I like it! I don't know, guys. What do you think what? about it, man? Like, it's like, I, I don't know. Like, it's it's really weird. So the, the tabard right there, that's the bloody tabard for doing arena. And then the chest piece from Nazoth, the helmet from Nylotha, or sorry, a weapon from Nylotha, and also helmet from Nylotha. Um, I, I don't know, guys. Like, I kind of like this, but I feel like unless he has, like, a really, really good mount, it's not going to work. Wait. No. No, he's not. He's not about to fucking do... Thank you. Chat BTFO, man. The chat thought he was actually going to get on the mail muncher. Yeah, nice fucking try, dude. I could have? Yeah, I bet. Honestly, man, I think that it looks pretty good. Uh, I mean, like, the uh, the face with, like, the character and then also the, uh, the, the, uh, the bat's face, too. I feel like those two things fit together really well. What do you guys think about this? Uh, I, I think it looks pretty good. This guy looks like he's from a Hulong video. <laughs> yeah, it does, actually. Um, I don't know. What do you think? I, I like it. I think that it looks pretty good. It's not amazing, but it's pretty good. Shoulders are wrong. I don't think the shoulders match either. I think the shoulders, like, they're kind of cool, but, like, the runes on them doesn't really match with the rest of the set. That's my opinion. But, uh, overall, I think that it does look decent enough, okay? Uh, it, it's at least decent enough. All right, let's go on to the next one, and let's see what they have. Here we go. Elder Druid, South Shore Slayer. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. This is really fucking good. Like, I, I, I really like this a lot, man. The belt ruins it? I don't think that it does at all. Like, this is really good. This is basically some sort of, like, fucking Plague Warrior or something like that. I love this, man. The helmet's carrying the set. Well, the helmet is the defining piece. You're right about that. The helmet is the defining piece of this set. Uh, I think the weapon is a little bit odd, but I'm going to just let that pass because I think the entire rest of this set is very, very good. This is like fucking Bane from uh, from Batman or something like that. This is really, really cool. This guy's one of Professor Futurecide's experiments. Exactly. Okay. Do the mount. We're ready. Alrighty. The Fell Steel Annihilator. That mount? Hmm. This is a tough decision for me to make. What do you guys think? I, I, I think that it looks pretty good. Uh, I, I do think that it looks pretty good. But overall... Um, I'd like to thank you for the mount. Wait, what? What, did I get this for you? Wait a minute, or did you just use my guide? Because I made a guide on how to kill this boss a, a long time ago. Holy shit, man. The hell, it looks like he's part of the mount. Yeah, it does actually look like he's part of the mount. I feel like for mounts, it's very hard to find a mount that's really going to match with this very well. So I, I do think that you have a struggle uh, with coming up with this. I think the Fell Steel Annihilator does look pretty cool, and it is cool how, like, you fit outside of it, and it's just kind of walking around with the mount on you. Uh, overall, I think that's decent enough. The colors don't match. I mean, it could certainly be better, okay? Like, I'm not saying that it couldn't be better, but I am saying that it's decent enough, and I do kind of like it, okay? I'll say that for sure. Uh, I do kind of like it. Now, let's go ahead and we'll look on the next one. It's the Trash Mug. Nah, dude. Nah, oh, dude, it's pretty good. Tabula, Hand of a Doll. Shoulders right there from the LFR version of Tomb of Sargeras, set for warriors. The chest piece there is chest piece from uh, the, the uh, Orgrimmar harness. And uh, what are these weapons here? Oh, these are like fucking vanilla WoW weapons. 
the helmet there, the Laughing Skull helmet, the leggings, the gloves, and the boots, uh, all from the Check Out the Ring and Kiss It. It's Ring of the Dreadnought. Oh my god! That You know what that means, chat? Chat. This Tell would him. drop only from many years ago in Next Ramos. This is a nine piece set and there was a ring that completed the set and you were able to get the ring from none other than Kel'Thuzad himself. I think this does look pretty fucking badass. Uh, I'll be honest, I think it does look really, really good. And um, I, I like it a lot. I like the basic weapons too. Now, the only concern that I might have is a particle difference between like the shoulders and the weapons. But I think the helmet kind of makes up for that, and it makes it to where it's not as staggeringly different. So I want to go ahead and see what we've got going on with the uh, with, with the weapons as well. Okay, let's look and see what we've got going on. Next one. What do you guys think about this? I think this looks pretty fucking good. Like, I, I don't know if it works. Like, so the motorcycles are always a little bit odd and it's like kind of hard to match them. But I think that the motorcycle matches really well with the helmet here. Like the helmet just has such a personality to it that it's very hard not to find something that works really well with this helmet. Like Ghost Rider, Mad Max, yeah, some kind of shit like that. It looks really, really fucking good. And uh, the shoulders, I do think, kind of are out of place. But overall, I do like this, and I think that it fits together really well. It looks like Nicolas Cage and Ghost Rider. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, it looks pretty fucking good. This is good, Tabula. I'm proud of you. Good job. Wow. Eleanor, Secret of Knowledge. Oh my god. This is awkward, really? What the fuck? This is a really, really good set. Holy fuck. Wow. So that's the that's the uh that, uh that that's the arcane mage artifact weapon right there. The shoulders there from Olduar, the chest piece there from Antorus for priests, the belt there from leveling and legion, and then what even is this helmet? Is this the Nightborn helmet? Holy, crown. Oh my god, dude, Holy this is fuck. For me, even this without the mount. Yeah, this is really, really oh, yeah. good. Like this is insanely fucking good. Uh, I, I like it a lot. What do you guys think about this? Yeah, seen it already? No, we Earth haven't seen this before. Plan, Jesus right. Christ. It looks really fucking well. What can I say? Yeah, it looks really good. Let's go, Eleanor. Hit it. I mean, like, it's very, it's very predictable, but I'll be honest, it is a, it's a, it's good. I mean, obviously it doesn't just like completely blow you away. Like, oh my God, wow, this matches perfectly. But I think that this is the Nightborn set. It's clearly, this is a Nightborn uh, fantasy set and she's going for that. And I think that she went and, and met it pretty fucking well. I, I like it a lot, man. This is really good. Yeah, the mount could be a little bit better. You're right about that. Uh, no, definitely not that one. Definitely not the Violet Spellwing. I, I don't like that one at all. Uh, maybe other people would, but I I'm not a fan. I think this is much better and it's much cleaner. And, uh, I think the helmet here does match with the, uh, the armor on the mount too, which is very important. Uh, this is a really, really good set. I like it a lot, Eleanor. Uh, it's very well done. And all the pieces match with this set. I think the transmog alone is probably one of the best ones that we've seen so far. And adding the mount onto it as well is even more impressive. I like this a lot. Good job, Eleanor. Great job, Eleanor. This is fucking amazing. Like, why do I always invite the same people sometimes? These people that queue up first are ready. They are ready and prepared to come in with these big dick sets. Keep that in mind. 
Thunder Wave, the Fearless from the Guild, the Untouchables. Hey, Asman, congrats on our title. I went for Raider Pillager Mog. Criticism is much appreciated. Shirt enhances my chest piece. So this is an Antifa transmog. I think this actually looks pretty good. So he's got obviously the, um, uh, you know, like the torch and the the, the bomb right there, which is, uh, I, I guess it's a water bottle or something like that. Uh, the helmet there comes from the Red Ridge Mountains quest line. Belt is from uh, LFR uh, Hellfire Citadel. And uh, gloves are from, uh, it's a green in, uh, gloves are a green item in Cataclysm and the leggings are from Normal Mode Siege of Orgrimmar, I believe for Paladins. And then the boots, I forgot where the boots are from, but I use them all the time. This is a really, really good set. So it's like a pillager transmog. I don't know. What do you guys think? Yeah, what, what, what do you guys think about this? Uh, I, I like it a lot. Yeah, I think this is, it's unique for sure. Like nobody's ever come in here with a set like this. And as you guys know, I'm very, uh, I, I'm very positive towards people that come in with sets that are unique. So I'm going to automatically like that just based off of that. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see what the mount is. Go ahead. Born between this and the Garden Night Howl. Mount collection needs work. Okay. So here's where we're at. This is a mediocre mount. It doesn't match at all. Uh, there's nothing about this mount that fits in any way, shape, or form. So I don't want people to think that like this is amazing or great or anything like that. But what I will say is that the set does look great. Uh, yeah, I know it's not great. Yeah, I know. Uh, it's okay, man. Uh, I think the fact that you came in here with a transmog set that's more unique than what people have seen before. Any recommendations? I don't know. Um, any recommendations? Yeah, I have no idea, man. Uh, I'll have to think about that. Uh, purple? Well, it's not purple. But um, regardless, I think this is really, really good. Um, yeah, I like it a lot. The transmog is great, but the mount just doesn't work. You've got to work on the mount, and then you'll be okay. That actually looks pretty good. Like, I mean, with, like, the uh, the saddle and everything like that, and, like, the seat on the saddle, that looks pretty fucking cool. But everything else I'm not really that big of a fan of. Uh, yeah, everything else I think does re look really good. This is a unique transmog model, and I think that it looks great. Good job. Sorry, I was in his view. Lantra the the Store's Warblade, or, or the Leroy Drinking Sword with a Mongoose in channel on it, the shoulders from Five Man Dungeons in, uh, in Burning Crusade, the helmet there from the Zandalar set, the belt and the boots right there from the normal Dragon Soul set for Warriors, the gloves that are just random BOE greens, and so are the legs and the chest piece. This is almost really good, like a warrior chicken. So I like how colorful it is. I really, really like how colorful this set is. It reminds me like of like an action figure or something like that. Or it's like if you were going to take a bunch of like, I don't know, like candy and just like put it together and turn it into a character, this is what it would look like. It's very bright. The colors are vibrant and they're deep and they're rich. I think this looks really, really good in that way. It looks like almost like a, an action figure or something like that. Jawbanger? Jawbanger? Hit us with the best mount that we've ever seen. The best mount that we've ever seen. Man, who's who's throwing bullshit? Who the hell's throwing bullshit? Quit throwing bullshit. Listen, Chaw Banger. The only reason why I like this mount is because it's as colorful and vibrant as you are. This is a beautiful mount with a beautiful set in terms of colors. Now, in terms of actual, like, does it look good? No. no, no. It doesn't really match that well together at all. It's just it's kind of ridiculous. I like this set a lot, but it's just, for me, someone keeps throwing shit at you, Asmon. If you tell me who they are, I saw who it was. Who was it? Who was it, Shawbanger? Tell me who it was. Oh, 
find out what the fuck is going on. Who is it? This purple bitch. You son of a fucking bitch! You- you- you had the audacity to come into my stream, to go into my competition, and then you go and you say posi vibes only while you're throwing bullshit at people. Is that Asmin? right? Asmin? What? I check. Fuck you, idiot. I literally didn't, though. Alright. Yeah, we'll see what happens, alright? I'll be watching you, okay? Keep that in mind. I'll be fucking watching you. Be a good boy. I saw it. I know you did. It's okay. This set, I think, is overly vibrant, and it's not really that great, personally. I think it could be much better, and I like it, but unfortunately, it's just not really quite there in terms of the set. Uh, it could be much better, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Yeah. Stitches? Snitches? Snitching? Oh, come on. What is this, third grade? Ah, oh, shut up. All right, let's go to the next one. Jawbanger? Yeah, that one doesn't really work very well at all. All right, let's go to the next one. This is good enough. I had a better mount and someone took it. I'm pretty pissed. Well, it's actually a good reason. It's a good thing you didn't pick that mount. Uh, yeah, exactly. Okay, it's just odd. Turned in my gangbangers. It's like, I mean, the stitch is getting... It's just like... It's so dumb. Okay. Crusader or Orion. Tried to build a, a, a set where every piece is from a different set. Well, you certainly did that, but did it succeed? Um, Crown of the Fire Festival, shoulders right there from Mythic Antorus, the gloves right there from Battle of the Tsar War, the belt there from the Cataclysmic Gladiator set, the boots there from Nyloth, the leggings from Siege of Orgrimmar, it's a pal the warrior set, and uh, let's see, the chest piece, it's hard really even to tell. Um, and the weapon there is from, I think that's uh, Warlords of Draenor. Uh, it ain't bad, to be honest with you. It's not that bad. You're right about that. And beyond it not being that bad, it's also unique. And I like that a lot. The fact that he has something that's unique and different, and he tried to do a completely different set and not make it derivative of anything, that impresses me a lot. I, I think that you did do a very good job with that. So even if this might not get a placing, I think this is a very good set, and it comes together in a, uh, in a unique way and from all different directions. So let's go ahead and let's see what we've got going on with the uh, with the mount. Orion, cape is what matches the mount. It was hard to match a mount. Okay. Let's see. Give me one second. The Argent Charger. Uh... Hmm. I don't know if I like this a whole lot. I don't think that it matches all that well. I kind of, I, I don't really think so. So it's good. Check the cape. That's right. I should check the cape. Wait, what? That's the Shadowlands pre-order cape. What the hell? How the fuck does that match with anything? I'm so confused. How does that even work? What the fuck? That's the worst part. Well, he meant check your cape, dude. Well, my cape's even worse, too. It's just it, it's, it's just going getting worse and worse, man. Wait, Jimmy check that Fox, guy's let's cape. Show you one more mog. I was in last week. And he didn't like the tabard. Yeah, Orion, go ahead and get in the mog. Don't need it to count? Yeah, sure. Get on it. Just want to show it. Let's see what his transmog was. See what he's got going on. Oh yeah. Um. Oh, and he was using the other tabard. That's right. Oh my God, I remember this guy. Yeah. Okay. You know what? The Blood Knight tabard does look way fucking better. Yes, the Blood Knight tabard looks way fucking better. You're right. This looks way better than the original one. And I also really like the double uh, the double enchants on the sword. Uh, this is fucking awesome, all right? I uh, should have come in here with this set. Uh, I like it a lot. 
And yeah, he came in here last week with, uh, I think this set on, on Alliance. Uh, purple bitch? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough. Of course. Yo, I like this. There's like a part of me that likes this a lot. The shoulders in the pre-order. Uh, the belt right there from Siege of Orgrimmar. The helmet and the Invific TOS shoulders from Avatar Pugs or Poop? Yeah, I bet they are. Um, and then the shoulders, or sorry, the weapon is the Scythe of the Unmaker. The boots are from Trial of the Valor. And then so are the gloves. And then the leggings there are from Antorus for Warlocks, or sorry, for Rogues. And so is the chest piece. I kind of like this, man. This is pretty fucking badass. What do you guys think? So skinny, I like it. Yeah, I do too. I think that it's really, really well done. Uh, I, I like this a lot. Yveria, thank you. Of course. Okay. Let's see what we're going to be able to do with this mount here. I don't know if this is going to be good enough, but we'll find out in a minute. Yveria, let's go. Just get on that one to begin with. This looks way fucking cooler, dude. This is awesome. But like, we don't let people listen. They have to get on the mount that they, the first mount that you get on has to be your mount. That has to be your mount. We never let people get on a second mount or anything like that. Yveria, this is the one mount that you're able to get on. And I'm sorry to say, but I really just don't think it's an exception. Uh, I don't know about exceptions, boys. I hate make I hate making exceptions. I'm not a fan of it. Yeah, the rules are the rules, man. Those are the fucking rules. Unless he says, oops, my bad, and then he immediately gets off it. Mount matches better with the astral appearance. First mount matches better with the astral appearance. Yeah, well, I think this one looks fucking awesome. This is really cool. I like this a lot, Yveria. Very well done. No exceptions? All right. Let's go to the next one is pretty decent. Magdalari, the magic seeker. This is from the realm first. The realm first for killing Malagos. The helmet right there from Mythic Antorus. The belt there from, uh, that's the ice stick belt from Legion. The boots there, those are from the tier 11 set for, uh, for hunters. The gloves, the, uh, that's the Antorus set for shamans. And then the shoulders are from Throne of Thunder. And then the weapon also comes from Throne of Thunder as well. It's a bow. Magladari. This is an amazing, badass set. Yeah, it's the Ice Dick Belt. Exactly. His dick is glowing. That's right. It's a rare item. Magladari. This is a troll tribal set. And because of that, we want to see something that's really, really good. Aguadari, go. Ooh. The original ZG Raptor? The original ZG Raptor. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, boys, all right. I mean... I don't think that it works. You're right. You're, you know, you guys are right. It does not work. But I do think that it looks pretty cool. So listen, this mount works very well with other transmogs, and your transmog would work very well with other mounts. But unfortunately, what you've got going on here is it's just too weird. Uh, the difference between the uh, detail and the sets is too high. And because of that, I think that you need to decide whichever what direction you want to go in. Let me turn it down a bit. There we go. I think that should be a little bit better. There we go. Uh, yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah, what do you guys think? Achievements, please? Okay, I'll show you guys his achievements. 27,000 achievement points. Realm First Magic Seeker. 18 Mount Feats of Strength. Dungeons, he's gotten at least one of those. He's got the Keystone Master. He has a mini titles and he oh wow he has the Algoan Immortal achievement. Yo, this guy this guy played the game back in Wrath. What the fuck? Okay, that is impressive. Good job, Magodari. Great job. All right, let's see what else we can go with here. Next. 
Okay. Cheat service with a smile. That means this guy likes to suck dicks. Helmet right there from the mythic, uh, sorry, not mythic, uh, the heroic, uh, ICC 25 man set for warriors, the shoulders from normal mode, dragon soul set for warriors, the leggings and also the gloves and the chest piece from the mythic black rock foundry set for warriors, the belt there from the Nihilita set for warriors, and then the boots there from the black rock set from the garrison bunker with the sword or sorry, axe, the, uh, what's that called? I forgot what it's called exactly, but it's from Loken in heroic, um, Heroic Halls of Lightning. Skullclad Colossal, Skullclad Cleaver. Cheat. I like this set a lot. I think that's really, really bad. Edge of something? No, that's the greenish version that comes from uh, the five man dungeon and Trial of the Crusader. Trial of the Champion, I mean. Cheat. Listen. I want to see a great set here. I want to see an amazing set here. Cheat. I believe in you. Hit us with the best set that we've ever seen. Go. Dude. What? I like it. What, dude? What the fuck? How do, what do I even do about this, man? I don't even know. Um, tried for an old warrior theme. So this guy is a very basic, old, traditional warrior. Uh, he's obviously got a number of pieces of gear on. Uh, you know, it makes him look like kind of an old school, you know, battle grizzled veteran warrior. Set was a 10, but with the mount is a 5. Uh, I feel like that's okay, though. Like, sometimes whenever somebody comes in with a mount that looks pretty good, uh, I, I still don't think that's a bad thing. Um, whenever it just doesn't match that well, but it still looks good. Like, this is a theme that he has going on. And because he has a theme that's going on, that's all right. You it isn't okay in the transmog comp. Die. The mount destroyed it. You guys really don't like this mount. Cheeked, let me be honest with you, man. Your transmog set is fucking awesome. I like this set a lot. The axe is one of my favorite axes in the entire game. So I don't want you to think that this is a bad thing. The chat is not a fan of your mount. I understand what you were trying to go for, but the chat doesn't have an understanding of the warrior tradition in the same way that we do. That's okay. They're usually uh, lacking understanding. It's fine. Listen, this is a decent looking set. Mount does take away a lot of points, though. You've got to work on the mount. It doesn't fit? No, I don't think that it does either. I don't think so at all. Battle Fury, the Savage Hero. Holy shit. This is actually good. This is, this, yo, this is actually good. Yo, what the fuck? That's the Grievous Gladiator Shoulders, the belt right there from the, uh, that's the, uh, Nighthold Warrior belt. The leggings there, I think, are Grievous Gladiator as well. The gloves and the boots there are the, uh, like, the, what even are these gloves and boots? I always forget what these are. Uh, what is this here? Frost Wolf Clan. That's right. Yeah, Frost Wolf Clan uh, boots and gloves. And then Grievous Gladiator's weapon. And this is just a Warlords of Draenor pole arm. I think this does look really fucking good. Uh, I've always liked these shoulders a lot. So seeing somebody use them in a completely different way does kind of excite me a lot. I think this set comes together really well. And even the chest piece with the harness on it, I think fits really well together. What do you guys think about this? Yeah, it's modern day thrall. Yeah, this is like an NPC that you'd see in Warlords of Draenor. Yeah, this is really fucking good, man. Uh, without the glow, it looks better. Uh, I think it looks good either way, but you're right. Probably the glow does kill it a little bit. This is badass. The legs are bad. The legs could be better, maybe. I think they're alright. Battle Fury, it's time. Hit us with the mount. The eyes match the shoulder glow and saddle matches the set. Hmm. I thought that it would be more original than using a frost wolf mount. Here's the thing. I understand that we've seen many wolves. But the reason is because it is the orc heritage mount. 
The orcs have domesticated and cared for these wolves for thousands of years. This is their history right here. So whenever you see a traditional orc transmog and they're riding a wolf, you're right. We've seen it a million times before, but I'll be honest. I think this does look pretty fucking good. It is something that we've seen many times already though. Top heavy, it is a little bit, but there's nothing that he can really do about that, okay? At least I don't think so. I think this is a decent looking set. I like it in, in a number of ways. I'm not saying it's amazing or anything like that, but I do think that it's a decent looking set and it could be much better, uh, but you know, the mount could be much better, I mean. Uh, but the set, I think, does look really good. McConnell, what do you think about this one? I'm kind, right. of, I'm kind of torn. I wouldn't, yeah. uh, I wouldn't place it too high, but it looks good. All right. One of the things that... Uh, Transmog's fucking awesome. Yeah, it, it, people saying it's top-heavy, but, like, yeah. as a warrior, you kind of have to be top-heavy because when you're swinging an axe or a heavy weapon... You're working out your glutes, yep. which means that your muscles on, on the top are going to be bigger. Yep. And when you combine that True. with your shoulders, it's going to be it's just going to be even bigger. Yeah. So I think with that, it, it it works. It just all comes together. So true. There it is. Battle Fury. Amazing transmog. I like it a lot. Mount could be better, but I think that it's uh, it's traditional. Calstat the Kingslayer from the guild Bloodforged. Yo, I love this. Yo, straight up, I fucking love this. I, I I really, really like this set a lot. Holy fuck, I like this. Jesus, dude, this is so good. Like, I, I know some people might not... Look, look, look at what he's got going on here, okay? That helmet right there is from the questing star... It's like the questing helmet, and I think it actually might be the five-man helmet they're able to get from the wards of inner five-man dungeons. Those shoulders there come from the... Uh, that's the Legion shoulders that came from patch 8.1. Those gloves there come from uh, Hellfire Citadel, and then the belt there is uh, also from patch 8.1 as well. The, the shoulders, sorry, the legs and the boots there, and the chest piece all come from Heroic Firelands DK set. And then the swords here are from the Legion Invasion. This is amazing. Like, this is actually fucking awesome, man. Like, the chat might not appreciate it, but I think this is fucking awesome. Legion, yeah, it's 7.1, right? Uh, yeah, I, I think they came from the, uh, whatever the fuck it was. Car start. This is really good. Uh, I like this set a lot, man. Please get on a good mount. Please get on a good fucking now. Please get on a good fucking now. Come on, man. Predict this. I would have never. I I'm gonna be honest. I would have never predicted that. Calstant. I I I don't know what this is. Or why you decided to get on this mound, I have no idea. But I, I don't think that it's that good. He threw on purpose. This is exactly what it could be, man. This set itself, I think, is fucking amazing. It's one of the best sets that I've seen all in here. Like, as a warrior, seeing this set is really, really cool. But this mount, I, I don't know what you were thinking. What is this even? Like, why? Why, dude? Oh my god. It's like watching those clips where somebody is going and they're running a race and they're like right in front of the finish line and they just trip and fall down. Like that that's what it's like, man. I'm just I'm honestly I'm mad just to see it. I am mad just to fucking see it. Cow stunt. This could be much better. Unfortunately, it's not. Better luck next time. Here, wait, this one might be better. That's great. Calstot. Oh, great. I know why. Why? I looked it up. Calstot means turtle in German. 
Very clever, Kelstan. Very fucking clever. The mount is amazing, everything else is not. You've got to do a better job with that. It's not? Okay. Let me see what the next one is. The f He defected. He used to be a mechanome. He was in our runs, and now he went over to the Horde, and he has famed Slayer. He's got the helmet from Opulence. You're a furry in a fursuit? Isn't that too much fur? What the fuck is this, man? Oh my god, dude. What is this? This is Randoran, man. Like, this is the same guy. He was in- he was a mechanome warlock. He was in our- he was in our runs all the time. Ooh, okay. Alright, let me just see the fucking mount. Duran, Duran! Yeah. Yeah. Challenger's War Yeti. Listen. Duran, Duran. This is the same exact set that he used before. The fact that his character, as Alliance, was wearing a diaper... Honestly, I'm so glad that this character isn't also wearing a diaper. Because that's too many fetishes, and it would make me sick to even look at it. Listen. Randoran, I understand that Horde is the better faction. But I hope that you would have some pride, and decide not to go down the Vulpira route. But unfortunately, here we are. Nunu -nu from LOL? No. I'm not a fan. I don't like it, Randoran. This is disgusting. This is the betrayal of the Alliance. I can't believe it, man. I, I, I don't even know what to say. What the fuck? Yeah, exactly. Faction transferred for the competition? Yeah, I guess so. Hurrin the Bloodthirsty. You want to turn around, buddy? Oh, what the fuck? This is really good. Uh, Randoran, can you move over a little bit? Because your name's in the way. Look at that. Wow. Uh, this is the first time I've ever seen somebody use that helm and it not be a BDSM transmog. I I I'm actually impressed. The axe is clean as a motherfucker. Uh, the, the, so that's the Bloodwake shoulders and gloves right there from Island Expeditions. The belt right there is from the trial, a Tomb of Sargeras. And then the, uh, the helmet there is, yeah, that's the one from the Dark Moon Fair. The tabard of the Earth and Ring. The leg guards from the Garrison Bunker. The boots right there from the Cataclysmic Gladiator set. And this axe, I don't even know where the fuck this axe is even from. This is actually good. Like, this is a very basic and traditional warrior set. And I like it a lot. Hurin. Nice fucking job, man. Like, great fucking job. Okay, let's go. Let's see the mount. The fucking meat wagon. That, dude, that is so good, man. That is so fucking good. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I think that's really, really well done. Yeah, this is like a fucking Mad Max, like, Viking, Berserker, Transmog, like, Marauder, going into cities, destroying shit. This is fucking awesome, Huron. This is one of the best sets that I've seen so far. I really, really like this a lot. Yeah, this is this is really good. I've never seen that mount. Yeah, this is for pre-ordering. Uh, for pre-ordering. Um. Uh, uh, um. Uh, Warcraft Three Reforged. Yeah, it's for pre-ordering Warcraft Three Reforged. It's not good, but um, yeah, there it is. Uh, sorry, I, I didn't want to say it, but there it is. Yeah, Warcraft 3 refunded. Well, he didn't refund his and he got a badass mount. It was a gift. Well, the person made a very good gift. This is amazing. I like it a lot, Huron. Good job. Side chick the gullible. That's accurate. Let's see the mount. Or sorry, not the mount, the, the set. Oh, wow. 
Wow, what do you guys think of this? I really like how vibrant it is. I started this expansion, so be gentle. This is really good. Like, I've never seen this before. That helmet right there comes from Blackrock Foundry, I believe. Those shoulders come from Hellfire Citadel. Wait, no, those are also Blackrock Foundry as well. Wait, the helmet is from Firelands. No, the helmet is even from Firelands. The helmet is the off-colored Firelands recolor that came out with the Island Expeditions. And then the weapons there are the Demon Hunter Havoc weapons, obviously. Yeah. Yo. What? This is a 9 out of 10. This is really good. Like, this is such a unique color theme. We've never seen somebody go with this color theme before. Stream lagging, so it'll take me a second to reply. You don't need to reply, man. You just need to sit there. This is really, really good. Like, I, I, I'm actually impressed. Like, we hardly ever see sets like this that are this good. Like, side chick. This is fucking awesome, man. Like, I really like it a lot. This God is damn it's trans mod. Good. No, it's not. The weapons are unique. Somebody else used this set uh, with the shoulders and the helmet before, yes, but not with those weapons. This is a great combination. I like it a lot. The colors are completely unique, and they fit together perfectly. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this is it. This could be bad. What? Oh, no. Wait. No. Why? Oh my god. Why? Why? Oh my fucking god. You just see you just said you started playing this expansion, man. How do you have <gasps> Fuck you! What a piece of shit. What a piece of wait, five million gold? What the fuck? Jeez, how this can, guy's a neckbeard. Oh my god. This is insane. Can, this pisses me off. Oh like, my you're god. not allowed. First of all, you're not allowed to come in here with an amazing transmog and get on a shit mount. That's yeah, not allowed. That's, yeah, it's against the law, man. And he's got another mount that I don't have. How does this guy that just started the game, this expansion, have Check all these mounts that I don't have? All right, let's see what we've got going on here. This is fucking ridiculous. He only has 9,000 achievements. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, it's not really too bad. Okay, yeah, it seems like it's actually true. I thought he was making some bullshit up. All right, side chick, listen, your mount's- your transmog's fucking amazing, and your mount's fucking garbage, okay? Decent enough. You gotta do better than that next time. Thanks, of course. Oh. Tyrannical Yo. gladiator shoulders. The belt right oh. there from 8.3, 8 and so is the weapon as well. The helmet there from Truma Sargeras for, uh, for Warlocks. This is really good. Oh my god! This is fuck. Oh, dude, he's flexing on us! Oh my god, dude, this looks good! This is a nice looking fucking set, man. Yeah, this is really good. The Unrelenting Madness? Man, I swear to God, if you get on a bad mount, you will not get on two side chicks. Okay, dude. Go ahead. Go ahead, buddy. You better get on a good mount. Madness, you had better get on a good fucking mount. Hmm. Oh, wait, what the fuck? That looks good. God damn. Yo, that actually looks really, really good. What do you guys think? I think it looks fucking awesome. Give me one second. I'm going to take a piss. Uh, I, I like this a lot. What a day. There you go. What a day. What a day. Hey, uh, real quick while he's gone, if you're on Sargeras, I need gold real bad. Because I'm trying to get the Mechagon stuff done, and you gotta buy the parts. You gotta buy the parts and put the three parts together, and then turn the quest in to get the spare parts. So if you got gold, I need gold real bad. And I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to get that achievement, the Mecha done. Man, are you so, trying to beg for shit? What the hell's going on? Like, I, I walk away for five. Like, I, was he? Was that what he was doing? Yep. I fucking knew it, man. This is too much. Too goddamn much. Whatever. Let's go ahead and move on. What are you goof boys doing? What the fuck are you goof boys doing? 
Madness. It's like, I feel like a teacher the moment that I leave the fucking room. And like the teacher has to like go for like five seconds to like go check something in like the office. And like the kids just go fucking wild. Like, Aah! And then she comes in and then like everybody's in different places and she's pissed off. It's just like the same fucking thing. The moment that I walk away from the screen, everybody just spurgs the fuck out. Get in your fucking line. Get, get in your assigned seat. Did you wash your hands? <sighs> Why would I wash my hands? I've got a clean dick. Madness. I love your set. I think your mount works very well. Good job. Chawbanger. I already looked at your transmog. Gladiator MW, by the way. The taco truck. Wait, this is actually really good. What the fuck? Dude, I've never, I never see seen those shoulders. Yeah, this is completely fucking unique. Like, I, I like this a lot. What do, you, what do you guys think? Yeah, PvP Andy? Well, it doesn't matter. I mean, one way or another, I think this looks really good. So that weapon right there comes from Ramparts uh, with the bloody enchant. Uh, I like this a lot. I think that it looks very, very good. The goggles are a little bit weak. Well, all PvPers, this is what I was saying before, right? It's like PvPers use these goggles all the time. Uh, the shoulders and the gloves and everything about this fits together in a really good way. I like it a lot, and I think that it fits together really well. Uh, this is actually a really good looking set. So let's go ahead and let's see the mount. I'm assuming Dread Gladiator. That's what I thought, boys. Honestly, for a gladiator set, the fact that the armor, the armor right here matches the wings right there, that is clean. That is so fucking clean, man. Uh, I like this a lot. What do you guys think? Yeah, what do you guys think about this set right here? I think that it's fucking amazing. Uh, I like it a lot. I think it's really well put together. Where are you guys at? It's a winner. Yeah, I would say so. This is a winner. This is a really, really good fucking set. And I think, honestly, like, the wings matching the armor is so fucking clean. Check PvP. Okay. Feats of Strength, player versus player. 61 PvP achievements. What? Yep. Look at that. Multiple Gladiator titles. Very impressive. Extremely impressive. Good fucking job with this mount. Oh, shit. Oh, uh, shit. As well, several months ago, I showed you this title, and it was the first time you had ever seen it. Welcome to the Champions Club, buddy. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. So the helmet right there comes from Dark Moon Fear. The shoulders are from the Antorus set for Demon Hunters, and so is the belt. The weapons there come from uh, Blackrock Foundry. That's for Black End, I think, on Heroic. Although I should say that I should have expected you to get carried to the last essence you needed. Um, just like the guy over here carried you to Gladiator last season. Wait, which one? It's meta! It's fucking See, I meta! Thought, I thought I was going to get over. I thought I was going to get over on him, man. But that's not what's going to fucking happen. There's always something. There's always something waiting for me. Just, you know, creeping around the corner. Sitting there waiting to fuck me in the ass. Dusty Aspect. DH. What? Huh? Okay, dude. Okay, dude. We've got some flexors right here, man. They're just getting on their gladiator mounts. It's not even a big deal. They're just playing the game, having fun. Well, Dusty, let me be honest with you, man. Your transmog fucking sucks. It does vaguely match with your mount. And I think that is kind of impressive, the way that it has, like, this almost combination set. It's not even flexing. You have this mount, too? Yeah, but you're still flexing, okay? Anybody that gets on a gladiator mount in public is flexing. Let's be real, okay? In a competition, like, you get on a gladiator mount, it's like, yeah, you're flexing. Like, come on. Let's be real. True, but damn. Dusty. Good job. And now I have the title, and that's one less thing that you have that I don't have. 
Azrock, the faceless one from the guild, comfortably rum. Oh my god, this is... I you like, like this. this. Okay. Dude. All right. So this is the battle. Dazara wore belt gloves and uh, and shoulders. Or sorry, belt gloves and boots. And then the chest piece there. I don't even know where the fuck that chest piece comes from. I think that's the same harness with the uh, the the shirt underneath it. Those shoulders there come from Dragon Soul. Those are the heroic spine of Deathwing shoulders. The helmet there. I need you to subscribe, but not to Asmongold. It's OnlyFans.com. Oh. Okay. Yes. Okay, dude. All right. So we've got the weapons there. Obviously, those are the um, uh, what? What even are those? Uh, give me one second. The weapons are those are the Fury Gladiators or not? Fu fucking God, dude. I, like my brain's not my brain is not activated today. I don't know what it is. Some days I have br I have brain days, and some days I don't have brain days. This is not a brain day for me. The weapons. That's the Fury Warrior artifact appearance that was hidden that you got from uh, uh, Halls of Valor. Yeah, I don't have a. Yeah, it's not a. It's not an activated day. This this set looks really, really fucking cool. I like it a lot. Hi Vlad. Hi Yale. Hi May. Hi Hot Bowl. Hi Vetson. Let's see the mount. Get on the mount. Don't you ruin it. Yo, bruh. Okay. Bruh. Okay. Alright, you know what? I think this actually does look pretty fucking good. Uh, I, I like it a lot. The colors work really well together. And it also fits with the Savage theme. So Azrock, I actually think this looks pretty good. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but I like it a lot. Yeah, the, the armor on it looks good. Uh, the mount looks very clean. Everything about this is great. Uh, I like it a lot. Good fucking job, man. Azrock, great fucking job. Looks like he's wearing a diaper. Yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah, I, I think this looks great. Good job, Azrock. Gladiator 4 lock. The fuck? Semen! Okay, dude. I'm a snake charmer in the Tolveron Arena, and they know me as the Sandman. So Vanilla Wow shoulders, the helmet there from Oldham, the staff there from the T Serethus Temple is sucking. I don't, I don't know what the fuck it's called. I, I don't know. Like it, as I said, some days uh, I don't, I don't Seth have. Seth Rallis. Seth Rallis. Yeah, there it is. I think this does look pretty interesting. I mean, we don't really see too many snake charmers around. Temple of Suck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Four lock. Let's go. Let's see the mount. Let's see it, Meta. Come on. You can do it. Hit us with the mount. All right. What there do you it think? is. There it is. I think this right. is a 10. Yeah. This is a top five for me. I like this a lot. I actually think it's, it looks pretty good. Uh, what do you guys think? too obvious well that it's not a bad thing right i mean whenever you go like there's obviously like the meat wagon was like the best mount that anybody could have picked okay like let's be real it was an amazingly good choice but we can't always expect that to happen four lock here i think came in with a really good set uh he has a theme associated with the set and i think the mount matches pretty well too overall i think that it looks good and i like it so you know what this is acceptable good job now Now, gentlemen, get on your mounts, and I shall pick the top five. Let me go ahead and get on this. Get on your mounts. I will lap around, and we'll pick out our top five. Okay. Tell me what you like. Tell me what you don't like. Not the best day. Some people thought these were good. Some people didn't. I understand, obviously. There are going to be differing opinions on these types of situations, so it's just important to keep that in mind. Let's see what we've got.
shit. This is hard for me to decide, guys. This is really hard for me to decide. <sighs> Fuck. So. Fifth place. Fifth place in the competition. It was a very, very good set. I like it a lot. It's clean. It's well put together. It's unique. It's different. And it tells a story. I think that fifth place absolutely should go. No, I'm just kidding. Should go to Forlock. This is an amazing, really good set. I like it. It tells a story. The mount fits. The mount matches. I think that it's clever. It's funny. And the snake with it at the same time absolutely deserves fifth place. I like it a lot. And I think that, yep, lock. Oh, In case anybody okay, doesn't know. dude. This okay, guy. Okay, dude. Go ahead. This guy is metaphors. Yeah, he's metaphors. Okay? He's been a gladiator since, like, fucking... For, like, 15 <laughs> like, years, okay? Yeah. He's been a gladiator for a long yeah. time. All right. So, fourth place. Fourth place, gentlemen. Fourth place is going to go to Gladiator MW, by the way. Although metaphors might be higher rated. This guy, I think, did a great job matching one of the most unique mounts in the game with a completely unique transmog set that fits together in, in an incredible way. I love this set. I think that it's extremely well done. And the fact that the wings match the armor is something that very few people in this in, in this competition are able to understand and respect. I understand that. You guys don't know anything about the game. But listen to me. Whenever I see that here, look at those wings, look at that armor. That is clean. That is good. That is nice. I like it a lot. MW, by the way, this is great. Good fucking job, man. Great fucking job. Third place. Third place. Why do those no mounts have no genitals? Because they lay eggs. Third place is going to go. To Foco Hunter, Conqueror of Azeroth. I think this is a very well put together set. It looks awesome. All the pieces fit together very well. It's unique. It's dangerous. What? What? Not number one. I think it's really good. It's a really good set. Okay, I'm not saying it's number. It's awful. Number three is really good. Number. Th this is third place. Third place is awesome. Uh, just let me make my calls. All right, boys. Trust me. Thank you so much, man. Well, of course. I think this looks really great. Also, fuck you, chat. Yo, true, dude. Foco, nice job. I'm going to put an X on his head. He did a very good job with that set. I like it a lot. Good job, Foco. Second place. Second place. Don't fuck this up. Second place is going to go to Eleanor, Seeker of Knowledge. This is an, incredi this is an incredibly well done set. I really, really like it a lot. It's very clean. It's well organized. And everything about this looks really, really good. I really like this set. I think that it absolutely deserves second place. And I think that it's very, very well put together. This is really, really good. The colors are very good. The theme is obviously a little bit... Jack gets mad at every choice. I know that. It's okay. I like it a lot looks really really good and I think that Eleanor absolutely does deserve second place first place here we go chat first place first place is gonna go to here in the bloodthirsty it's unique. It's different. 
It's something that we've never seen before. And I think that he absolutely deserves first place for this fucking set. Good choice. I like it a lot. Carl Rushy, thank you very much for the 10 gifted community subs. I appreciate that very much, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Huron. I like this set a lot. Great fucking job. Amazing fucking job, man. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good choice. Yeah, I appreciate it a lot. Uh, thank you. This is an amazing set. An amazing job. Azrock, honorable mention. Chat, I was robbed. Check Heart of Azeroth. Okay, let me see your Heart of Azeroth. Five twenty-one. Holy shit! Damn. Nice. How about that, dude? I don't even know how. I, I don't even know if that's good or not. I have no idea. Regardless, Huron, I really like your set, and you do deserve first place. Congratulations, Huron. All of the winners and everybody like that. You guys did an amazing job. I'm gonna give you a round of applause right now. Huron, amazing fucking job, man. I really like it a lot. All of you guys that came in here, there were some other honorable mentions that I do want to say. Skiggy, honorable mention. Uh, I think there was a transmog that was right around over here that it was also an honorable mention. Uh, many of you guys came in here. Uh, uh, Calshart, you looked really good too. I liked it a lot. Battle Fury, yours looked good as well. I like that too. Great job. Vote now. I will do votes next week. We will not be doing votes this week. Uh, I've, I've already gotten so many commissions that I've, I've gotten behind on. Uh, I cannot do votes this week. I, I apologize. Listen. What? I'm going to be honest, guys. Okay. I'm pretty... I'm hungry. We had a yep. good stream today. We mm -hmm. had a great stream. We got we the fucking Azeroth champion title. We did the Horde Transmount competition. Yep. We fucking did it today, boys. We popped off. We did our best. So until next time, boys.